Thank you for following the First Metal Church of Christ. We're glad to have you. Be sure to go over to our social media platform and like and follow us. And also go to our uh, YouTube channel. And you can subscribe and pass along to your family and friends as well. Some great lessons uh, to help you and encourage you on your walk with, with Christ. Lesson today is called Breaking Free from the Chains of the Past. Living in the past, why do we? Why do we as human beings dwell so much in the past and live in the past? As human beings, we find ourselves trapped in the memories and regrets of days gone by. At times, we find it difficult to release the grip of the past. We hold on to regrets, mistakes, and missed opportunities, allowing them to hinder our growth and rob us of the joy Christ desires for us. The dangers of dwelling in the past. Ecclesiastes tells us to say not, we, why were the former days better than these? For it is not from wisdom that you ask this. You see, reflecting on the past is not inherently wrong, but when it becomes a stumbling block, hindering our growth and progress, then it becomes dangerous. Dwelling in the past prevents us from fully embracing the present moment and hinders our ability to move forward in faith. Philippians 3 says, By one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on forward the goal for the prize of the onward call of God in Christ Jesus. The Apostle Paul encourages us to let go of the past and to release the burdens that hinder our spiritual journey. The Apostle Paul reminds us that dwelling on the past hinders our spiritual growth. It keeps us stagnant and prevents us from moving forward in God's plan for our lives. Clinging to the past robs us of the joy and freedom that comes from embracing the transformative power of Christ. Understanding the root cause. Fear of change and uncertainty. Joshua tells us to be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Fear can paralyze us, leading us to seek solace in the familiarity of the past rather than embracing the unknown future with hope and peace. Shame and Guilt Psalms writer tells us, As far as the east is from the west, so far does it remove of our transgressions from us. God's forgiveness knows no bound, and yet we often struggle to forgive ourselves, allowing shame and guilt to trap us in the past. Embracing God's gift of renewal. Lamentation reads these words. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. God's love and mercy are continually renewed, offering us the opportunity to experience transformation and growth. By surrendering our past to God, we open ourselves to receive the blessing of his grace and embark on a journey of renewal. Corinthians writer tells us, and therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, and behold, the new has come. In Christ, we are made new, liberated from the chains of our past. Through faith in the power of the Holy Spirit, we can leave behind the burdens that hold us captive and embrace the abundant life God has promised. Let us not be enslaved by the past, but instead let us embrace the present moment. Knowing that God's grace is sufficient for us, may we find courage to face the unknown, healing from the shame and guilt, and strength to let it go and press forward to the future with hope. As we reflect on the scriptures and the wisdom they impart, let us commit ourselves to the transformation work of God in our lives. Acknowledge in the past. Take time to reflect on the past and identify any lingering achievements or attachments or unresolved issues. Recognize the emotions and thoughts associated with these memories, bringing them before God in prayer. Seek God's forgiveness. Confess your sins and shortcomings to God, knowing that His forgiveness is abundant and His grace is sufficient. Accept the freedom and release that comes from release from receiving his forgiveness. Release regrets and resentments. Let go of resentments and regrets that anchor you to your past. 
surrendering them to God and allowing his peace to wash over you and heal the wounds of the past. Embrace the present, fully engage in the present moment, recognizing it has a gift from God. Be mindful of his presence, seeking his guidance and wisdom as you navigate each day. Trust in God's providence. You place your trust in God's sovereignty and his perfect plan for your life. Believe that he is working all things together for your good, even the painful experiences of the past. Embrace growth and change. Be open in growth and change, allowing the Holy Spirit to transform you into the image of Christ. Embrace new opportunities, stepping out in faith and allowing God to lead you into the future that he has prepared for you. Cultivate gratitude. Develop a heart of gratitude. Focus on the blessings and goodness of God in your life. Count your blessings daily, experiencing thank thankfulness for his faithfulness and provision. Surround yourself with a supportive community. Seek fellowship with fellow believers who will encourage you and uplift you on your way. Share your struggles and victories. Allow others to walk alongside you as you break free from the chains of the past. As we embark on this journey of liberation from the past, let us remember that our identity is found in Christ alone. We are no longer defined by our past, but by our redeeming work of our Savior. May we walk in the freedom and joy that comes from surrendering our past to God, pressing forward with faith and confidence, knowing that he has began a good work in us that will bring it into completion. But let us remember that living in the past robs us of the fullness and life that God intends for us. It keeps us bound to the mistakes, regrets, and hurts that we have experienced. But through the power of God's word and the guidance of his spirit, we can break free from the chains that hold us back. Let us commit ourselves today to release the past and embrace the transformative work of God in your life. Let us seek his forgiveness, be healing, and his renewal. May we trust in his faithfulness, knowing that he has a purpose and plan for each one of us. May we go forth with a renewed sense of purpose and hope. Let us live in the present, fully embracing the abundant life that God has prepared for us. And as we encounter others who are even trapped in the past, just like we was, may we extend a hand of compassion and understanding, pointing them toward the freedom that can only be found in Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, we come to you as a community of believers, grateful for the message we have received today. Be thankful for your word, which guides us, challenges us, and encourages us to let go of the past and embrace the future that you have prepared for us. Lord, we confess at this time we find it difficult to release the grips of the past, and we hold on regrets, mistakes, and missed opportunities, allowing them to hinder our growth and rob us of the joy you desire for us. But today we surrender those burdens to you. We lay them at the foot of the cross, knowing that in Christ we can find forgiveness, redemption, and the power to move forward. Help us, Lord, trust in your sovereignty and to have faith in your plan for our lives. Teach us to lean on our own understanding, but to submit to you in all ways. Give us the strength and courage to step out in faith, knowing that you are with us every step of the way, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, that you will always be with us even until the end of the age. We pray, Lord, that you would cultivate within us a spirit of gratitude and, com and contentment. Father, we will be good, thankful, and we will look to you with open eyes to see the blessings that have bestowed upon us and to be thankful for them. Help us to find our satisfaction in you alone so that we may experience the fullness of joy that comes from knowing you and serving you. Give us a grateful heart, Father. Give us a peaceful mind. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. 
now and forevermore. And amen.